artist Terry Karpowitz, and triathlete Haley Danisevich are helping test the next generation of prosthetic legs, a motorized leg that bends at the knee and ankle. This one allows me the opportunity to flow down the stairs and not really think about the process of what the next step is. It feels great, you know, just being able to go down with that really natural movement. This motorized leg harnesses electrical signals generated by their upper leg muscles. These signals are known as EMG. We pick them up with tiny antennas called electrodes. When the electrodes touch the skin, you, you can detect the EMG signals. We pick those signals up and decode them. These signals help tell the leg how to move. Looking good. Traditional prosthetic legs are passive, functioning almost like a fancy walking stick. With this uh, prosthetic leg, the, the power pushes you along. It can push you up out of a seat. It can push you up stairs or slopes. Dr. Levi Hargrove from the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago and co-authors tested two different ways to use the motorized leg in a group of seven patients, all with lower limb amputations. One way incorporated EMG, the other way did not. Each patient tested both methods, but was not aware of which method was being used at a given time. The system that did not incorporate um, neural signals, we noticed that it had a few more errors, like stubbing your toe or kicking the bottom of the stair. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Using EMG signals um, resulted in a leg that behaved better, made fewer mistakes, um, and people like to use it better. It reduced error rates by almost 50 percent. It allows me that freedom to just be who I am, not necessarily an amputee. This is kind of the closest that I've, I've gotten to having, having two legs again. What we're working on in this lab is eventually going to change the lives of amputees everywhere. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's great. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.